let's try that again. So my battery just died. So I don't know if it got any of that or if it cut the clip off or whatever, but uh, prepping for a few jobs. Um, we're still getting frost here or there just because it's early March. Well, not early March, it's the end of March. But you know, in Indiana, it's, it's still hit or miss. You can get snow in May. So I don't want to start too many jobs. Um, you get some freezing temperatures on concrete. And I'd say the next three or four jobs all involve concrete to some degree, whether it's just a sidewalk or a patio or, or whatever. <clears throat> um, so that's kind of where we're at today. We've done our spring work uh, for the most part on the commercial stuff that um, I do. I don't do a whole lot of it, um, but it's good spring work. So, you know, always grateful to have it get started a little early kind of loosen up the joints from the winter stiffness even though I didn't take a break at all this winter so there's the van we've got to get it decaled up so I'm gonna get some things uh, put together for the job that we're gonna prep today and um, yeah see you guys when Fred gets here shaved last night it's been really windy, so I don't know if my face is really red, but my lips are super dry and cracked. So, all right, see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. We are here on the job. I'm gonna let the truck cool down. <clears throat> Fred's gonna unload the mini over there. But I'll give you the breakdown of the job. So we're gonna do a bunch of plans for this uh, customer. We've actually done a fair amount of stuff already, uh, irrigation repairs and things like that. Uh, but we're gonna be removing this flagstone walkway, <clears throat> excuse me, up to that patio. Uh, including this pad here. Um, we're gonna save this limestone, uh, use that to kind of help keep the ivy at bay. But uh, we also have a landing on the other side. Alrighty, so complication on this one is uh, we got a new gas meter. No big deal normally. Original gas meter is over here though. And from what the customer remembers, he thinks that uh, both of these lines are connected. We have no markings back here. So... Uh, Who knows? We might end up hand digging. Yes. Yes. No. <laughs> so we'll see. He's getting some information right now. And then we'll uh, get a game plan. You mean you can't pick that up? No. Hurt myself. Come on, give it up. Smarter, not harder. He's not Big John Strong. All right, guys. So, get this off. <clears throat> Hang my muffs up. So the customer just came out, and uh, like I said about that gas line, uh, and he actually has a photo, which is really, really nice. Really appreciate that. Um, but you can see it's maybe a foot deep. Uh, you never be able to tell, but. It, at least gives us the direction, but wasn't, uh, overlooked that. <laughs> overlooked the new gas meter. So we'll, uh, we'll make it happen though. But second thing we ran into is this, uh, little pad that I thought would just be a landing pad for the, you know, a step. It's already six inches thick. So the sucker could be, have a footing on it or just be incredibly thick. So we're about to find out. I got the forks on. I did not bring the jackhammer. So uh, we might be going back to get it. Let's take a shovel and see how deep that is.
uh, right now, yeah, it's definitely uh, over six inches thick. So uh, there's very good possibility that that has a footing on it. Very good chance. So do you want to just go around it? It looks silly. I, I mean, we'll just jack it. All I have to do is go get the jackhammer. Like it's not a big deal at all. <laughs> to you. Yeah, it, I mean it's really yeah it's really not, and the end result will be a lot better. Yeah. Is it going to affect the, the house? It's, no. The they, they, so it could be tied into it, but um, golly, yeah. Yep. Supposed to warn me about these things. <laughs> I don't know. My oh my god. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. So you saw that? No footing. Just 12 inches of solid concrete. That's how they did it back in the day, you know. That's that thing hadn't settled at all. <clears throat> so good for them. No short, no shortcuts were taken back in the day. That's kind of part of the reason that I do these videos. So that way, uh, you know, quality's kind of been forgotten. Um, and I, I'm firsthand, uh, you know, I firsthand experienced some of those things with quality, and I won't do those to my customers. So, um, but yeah, good job for them. I don't think 12 inches of concrete's necessary if you compact it but <clears throat> um with the right compact button maybe they didn't have that back in the 50s i don't know but either ways good job i'm gonna go get the jackhammer which i should have probably brought anyway but i figured it was just gonna be a four inch slab and then you can just pop that up but hey you live you learn if you think you should bring it uh and you're in doubt bring it it's better to be over prepared then under prepared <laughs> that's how it goes though all right let's see if uh 12 inches of concrete is too much for the mini and the big hammer <laughs> deny the fact i'm a little nervous about 12 inches thick Why? that's a lot for this that's a little machine man that's pretty thick i don't know if i got that i literally just shut this camera off and Fred falls down. <laughs> uh, gotta keep the windows safe, guys. And it's not even my birthday. Yeah, the mini doesn't like that big jackhammer, so we gotta use the persuasion bar. Uh, yep, it's going. through anything like this I got myself stuck so uh, 
I'm dumping this load, but <laughs> gosh, my wife sees this video, she's gonna laugh. The last time, oh, and Timmy, Timmy's gonna love it too. Cheyenne, Bendy, they had to pull me out, so uh, yeah, seeing this mud just <sighs> gotta love spring. <laughs> Yeah. I got your teeth. <laughs> scoop, scoop, scooping it up. So this is going to be another patio here. A nice landing. Uh, have some trees and a shrub line planted here. By us. So I'll go ahead and get this dug out. All right, so we're digging this out. It's really easy digging, which is nice, but that's not good. Uh, Kind of need compacted soil uh, without organic material in it. You know that's what you want underneath concrete. Uh, so we might have to end up over excavating. Uh, I don't think Thumper's going to cut it with this topsoil. So let's see what we can get. Special delivery. This could be a. Uh, Kind of interesting. Thumper could really take it to Pound Town. So, yeah. Looks like we have a pretty good amount of gravel, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm so good at this stuff. So good. We have one scoop of gravel left. We need one scoop of gravel for the other side. <laughs> My eyes just do it all. These eyes are magic, Fred. <laughs> My wife, when she hears this, she's, <laughs> hi, honey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so the big chief is here. Told me he was going to the bathroom. Yeah, go ahead and put uh, some gravel in there at the gas station. He lives two minutes from there. Why don't you just go to the bathroom at your house? You like, the toilet, you like toilet paper at the gas station, right? Yeah. yeah. It's Save, cheaper. Saving money, yeah. Yeah, it's cheaper. All right. Final member of the crew is here. What's up, What's up Musketeer? What's up, You're all man? oranged out, huh? You're yes, trying sir. to fit in today. Action, baby. Yeah. Not yet. Not until this comes off. Still got my long johns on. Go in, Shiloh. Shiloh, drive in. We need you, Timmy. We need you. <laughs> All right, so it's going in. I just went over there and got the hose and the other uh, pad we're pouring. But doing uh, the wheelbarrow thing is very slow, very time consuming. So I think they probably maybe got two buckets in. And then uh, I'll go ahead and jump in. Make sure you get it all the way up there in the front. Yeah, I know. Alright. Hold this. It's all about finesse. It really is. Look, it's like you don't even hardly need to screed it now, huh? Uh -huh. Yeah. I was sweat like crazy and it was like Yeah, you can bring it all the way up here. You can pretty much dump it right near where this board is right now. Let me get back here. And if it's flat or somewhere, just remember where it is and we'll wipe it. You can dump it right there, Fred. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll I'll handle it. Don't worry.
Don't be afraid to take smaller wheelbarrows, man. One catastrophic wheelbarrow just ruined this whole job. Like, there, there ain't no rush. Like, I'll handle. I got this. Don't worry. All right, hold that, too. So it doesn't matter getting every one of his stuff on each wheelbarrow. No, man, we're we got. I got it. I think doing No, they ain't got to be full. He just take double the half wheelbarrow. Yeah. Oh, you had a looking sexy, huh, Johnny? You liar. Oh, come on, man. You've been looking in the mirror too much. Yeah, I know. All right, hop on up there, Johnny. Uh, maybe. Yeah, hold on a second. You might want to let me get that first part. Ask Fred to find where that six foot level is. No, don't tell him. He can dump his thing there. Just tell him as he goes, he can look for it. Yeah, or you. I got to do everything, Max. Golly, man. All right, just put it uh, about where Johnny's at. Look at Slim Shady right there with that bleach blonde hair. <laughs> Guess who's back? Back again. I don't know Bob, I believe that. Come along in the dirt, come on. Yeah. Hold on here, fellas. Bring her up. I'd rather be pulling than hold that. There we go. Just get all that concrete up to where I am now. Pull that level out of the way. Hold on. Hold on there. Hold on. Last time was such a rough experience with me doing the edge and you had to get on me so much. <laughs> I figured out how to use it. Yeah. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. You said it glides right across the top. Yeah, that's all it does. Yep. Everything in concrete just glides across the top. It's right here so it don't get muddy. Right. like butter baby but uh yeah it, it, it's hard you know like people don't think like you're worth your money and they don't believe you're kind of break and they don't believe like people are paying those prices but it's like dude they are and i was talking to my wife i was talking about employees i was like you know i'm just never gonna be a good boss i don't feel like and uh she's like no you're a good boss yeah. she's like she's like it's just that everything you do is skilled and i was like you know what after a while like i wasn't right away let me tell you <laughs> and i was like she's right like it's it's skilled and that's the reason that it should be that much because like let someone else you can dump it right here let someone else come out here and try and figure this out you know it yeah come on out here and try it yeah i'll break you i got you you can do it right there i'll get it yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on out here and you're gonna have something real ugly to look at for a long time. Yeah. It'll be still and it'll save you a little bit of money and it's gonna be still expensive up. Yeah, exactly. And I'm gonna pick the leaves and the pine needles out like the other people be paying. 
I'm screeding, I'm raking, I'm troweling. Oh darn it, I'm doing concrete. <laughs> oh shit. Look at him, look at that big it's smile. He, look at that, he ain't smiled like that in 10 years. <laughs> oh yeah. That's good times right here, man. Pouring concrete's fun. Get that good angle. Oh man, he got me. <laughs> hey, get out of here, Shiloh. <laughs> Brad's throwing the release. I'm tooling in the last little bit of hardener. It's still really soft. Thank goodness. I really don't like it when there's multiple sites that aren't connected because you just can't keep up with it. more over there Fredo. Yeah she's plastic. She's good. That's so weird. Alright. So much walking on this pour. Back and forth. Back and forth. I'm gonna knock all these lanterns over. Shit! I'm not even I was not really being serious. I can't I put a little stamp back there and I'm sorry about you. I'm using this over my tamper because it's still a little soft. What do you say, Fred? So we have more energy I will. I'll need that little red one. That's a really good impression. You see that? So, looks good. We're gonna have a good time. We're just trying to have a good time. You're gonna hit that corner right here. I right, went after I pick it up, hit that corner. Right there, yeah. No, right in that corner is where you're going. get another one of these big stamps so we were just talking about how heated I get when it's time to pour concrete and uh, I was telling him <clears throat> that it's like turning into a woman. I like to say Dr. Jekyll and Hyde, but they're probably gonna refer to it as a woman, you know, as an insult to me. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's stressful, but I apologize. And they're like, what'd you guys say? You were just talking about it. Yeah, just talking about it. It's the first time <laughs> ever talking, just let him go, let him go, he's mad. Yeah. He's angry, let him do it. Don't no apologize. Money's on the line. Tempest flare. That is true. That's a good thing. But Shiloh was here helping. <laughs> Fred and uh, Johnny hadn't seen him before, so they thought if it's his first day. It's his last. It's his last. <laughs> he's experiencing a joke like this. <laughs> we're we're going to put that in this video. That way the customers are aware of <laughs> the neighborhood. But when you got an expectation of your work always looking so good, you want to keep it that way. I do. I can literally feel the concrete sink underneath me imprint when I do that little fairy step. Your fairy step? Yeah. 
gonna lie, guys, I'm tired though. Okay. Cause he didn't get any pictures of the concrete right now. Uh, all right, so all of these lift up one, and then let the other side flop under it, and kind of pat right there. If there's a line, it'll take it out. Kind of like uh. Like that, but how you doing, buddy? <laughs> I'll tell you in a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Hey, um, did you happen to, to see that guy that was over there in that truck? He had the truck and he was driving the bigger belly set guy. He kind of had, had a bigger belly. No. He was here working with us. You know, we had no. Oh time. yeah. Yeah, we looked over there, man. And he just he, he took he, off. He he fell in the concrete. Yeah, you're kidding. No, nope. he didn't tell us nothing. So there's a big old belly print in the concrete. You can't see his now. belly button in there. Yeah. yeah, and he just rode off and took off on us. Yeah. On the back side? Yeah, didn't even tell us. Yeah. There's just belly button imprint in there. He had a tattoo that says mom right there and it's in the concrete. <laughs> you're kidding. <laughs> We're kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the mom thing got away and gave it away. The belly button thing. I'm, I'm Johnny. Gonna... I was gonna say I just nope. looked out there and I didn't see any of that. <laughs> yeah, we're just we had. Where's Josh around? Middle of the day. Yeah, after all the stress, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, everything everything went good. Good. We're gonna blow it off so you can kind of check it out. Actually, we blew this off a little bit so you can actually see. Uh, it'll be different once it's washed. But. Yeah. You can see kind of the texture a little more. There's the powder. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and give it gas. We're getting that bend's dirty. Jeez. No. Customer knew about this. <laughs> He's videoing us too. We got you. <laughs> Puddle here and a little one over there. Uh, cut here, cut there, and a cut off the downspout. Uh, the other side is drying. It was in the sun and is already. Uh, there's a little bit of sun, so it might take a little bit to dry, but it's fairly windy. Decent temps, probably in the 60s. Uh, so I'm gonna let that be. Come back here in a little bit and seal it. All right, guys, so I'm back here. Kind of dry, but I still have some puddles on this side. So I'm going to hit it with some xylene, just straight xylene in those wet spots to see if it helps <clears throat> kind of evaporate it up. But I have to hurry. I have 30 minutes to do this and get back home for our Easter supper. All right, here we go, guys. Trying to flush the xylene out of it. Not that it really makes a difference. And let's take our kicks off. Take my shoes off here. Yes, I did the area by the deck without a brush. If there is an issue, I'll just come back, wipe it down with xylene. But I want to get this on here to lock the moisture in. Uh, so we have a nice strong slab that doesn't dry out before, you know, too early. Alrighty guys, so here it is all sealed up.
Go ahead and get this other side. Here's the other side. I actually <clears throat> need to add another coat of sealer to this one. Uh, only because my, I was in a rush, it was Easter, but I got a thin coat on here. So uh, you see where I had water sitting. <clears throat> I gotta hit that with some xylene, bring it out, reseal it. But the important thing. What is that? What's that say? What's that do? Like and subscribe. Yeah. Stand over here. Now, now tell me, what does that say? fly. Show me the. Hold that up. What is that? It's Yeah. Just, just go back by the dump truck and say it one more time. fly. One more time. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Yeah. See you turn it on. Yeah, it's on right now. <laughs> America! Don't put that one! <laughs> oh! He tackled me. He tackled me. <laughs> <laughs> He's shooting. Yeah.